everyone and welcome to what will be the final episode in our equipment system series. In the previous episodes we've managed to get our character to open up their character sheet like so and equip an item like so. So now it appears in the world and has affected the stats. The last thing we're going to do is make it so it updates this preview of our character model in here too. So to accomplish this, we'll be going back to our character portrait BP, the thing we worked on right at the start of this series. And in here, we're going to add some work in here to allow it to show the helm. Now I'm going to go through how to make it show the helm, but you can do exactly the same for all the other armor pieces as well. It's exactly the same, just change where it's relevant. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add several components to this thing. So add a component, static mesh, and we'll call this helm. And click compile. So now we have a static mesh, an empty one, that will be uh, attached to our component. So here we have the event called update character. So this is calling the update to change the character based on whatever we want it to update on. So this thing's already being called. What I want it to do is at the end of it, I want to tack on the updating of the helm mesh to be matching what's on the character. So the character model is actually already got. If we go back to start, we see we're getting ready to cast a third person character here. So what I'm going to do is as a third person character, just drag off and promote that to a variable. Like so. And we'll rename it player actor. From that, I can then use that at the end here to get hold of the player character's helm. Now the helm is the static mesh component and then from there I can get their static mesh. So now we've got the actual mesh we want to use. So we need to first of all update this helm to match the static mesh. So we're going to drag the helm out and then from there set static mesh and add it like so. So now we are updating the helm component on our uh, portrait here. The last thing we need to do is tell it to attach that helm to the correct position. So we are going to do, go into our components here and get the character mesh that we've previously uh, got. Get character mesh. And then from there, we're going to attach to a component. And we want a target that is a scene component. The character mesh will be the parent and the target will be the, the helm. Plugging it in like so. We want to change the location rule, rotation rule and scale rule to snap the target. The socket name needs to match what we did on the uh, previous episodes where we looked at adding it to the actual character model. So to double check this, we can open up our mannequin model. And double check the socket we've attached to it. So here we've got head socket with the head or lowercase and S for socket capitalized. So in here, I'll make sure it's spelled exactly the same. Like so. And click compile. Let's see how that looks. So when I push play, equip our item, and we'll see it still doesn't update in the character pro profile. The reason why is because we haven't called that update uh, function. Oh, sorry, update event rather. So here we have the event update character. We need to call this update somewhere. So I'm going to go onto my inventory component and look for where I equip the armor. And now I have the refresh stats. After refresh stats, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that uh, profile, that portfolio, not portfolio, the, pro the character profile, and tell it to update the character. So what I want to do to save a bit of faffing about is I want to go on my event graph here, do a begin play, and get all actors of class, 
and choose my character portrait BP. And I've only got one in the world, so I'm just going to go out actors and get a copy of index zero. And I'm going to promote that to a variable. And that is the character portrait. So now I have this reference. When I go back to equip armor function, I can grab my character portrait reference out. And then from there, I can take it to update the character. Click compile. Back to our game. And you can see it now updates in the character profile. So to get this working for all the items, it'd be quite cum cumbersome to do this as we have currently got it in our character portrait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bits that we've added in our character portrait, namely this end bit, like so, and I'm going to right click and collapse the function. And that function is update helm. And so you'd have the same function for each of your armor pieces and or weapons. And that is it for our equipment system series. Over the course of this series, we've just shown one item type, and that is the helm. But it's exactly the same for all the other armor pieces. It just takes a bit of time to go through and add what you want to add. Well, thank you very much for sticking with us. It has been a long journey and a big break in the middle, but hopefully you followed along and uh, completed the tutorial thus far. So thank you once again for everyone for supporting me in this uh, series. If you've enjoyed this series and want to catch the next one right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can support me for just $1 to get access to all these videos well ahead before anyone else, as well as access to our Discord and many other benefits. So thanks again for coming by, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.